start you like this. Attention. Go. Get ready, please. Weifold again. First time we've seen New Zealanders at this regatta. Attention. Yeah, that's right. Never competed here before. So a very special day for this grill on the left of our screen. Here. The tone and the bright yellow fluorescent vest there. Distinctive. And they're up against Nottingham Rowing Club. This is Nottingham Rowing Club's B, which is worth pointing out. Yeah, and there'll be some steering challenges here. I think the umpire's going to have his work cut out. Got a flag out already, trying to get Nottingham Rowing Club B back onto their station. Um, both crews will be uh, trying to keep the boat straight, using the steering markers, which are behind them, so the, uh, the steerers within each boat are able to look back down the boat and uh, try to use the large orange uh, posts to get the steering right. And what a fantastic start. What a great race we've got here. Yeah, this is... Uh neck and neck in the early stages are a little more competitive than some of the previous races we've seen the New Zealanders Patone Rowing Club Nottingham Rowing Club the near side of the picture and to me Nottingham just look a little bit more frantic the New Zealanders to me just look a little bit more controlled a little bit more together and uh, I think Nottingham B here are really going for it they know this is going to be tough but I can see the oars on the near boat just going a little bit deep you see the painted bit going in but you also see quite a lot of the the shaft of the blade, the black part of the blade, the loom going underwater. And uh, it's not quite as efficient as what we're seeing here as we take this nice aerial shot of the New Zealand boat. Um, moving quite smoothly, they're able to move out towards the centre of the river because I think they've been able to build quite a decent looking lead as uh, we're going to pan back. And they're coming down here now towards Remnant. And uh, as we say, this crew from Patone nicely in control of the crew from Nottingham who've possibly shot their bolt a little. Yeah, the first three or four hundred yards, it was very level, but now Patone with a comfortable lead in the second half of this race. Yeah, they've been planning this trip for a number of years, this crew from Patone. Uh, big achievement for them to have got here to be now racing at Henley. They finished seventh in Marlow Regatta a few weeks ago in the elite Coxless Falls, so I think they're definitely going to be a crew to watch here. Um, as this event, the Y folds for Club Fours, unfolds. Nottingham Rowing Club won the Y fold challenge back in 2012. And as Greg says, Patone never competed here before. So a very big day for them, and they're making a good start to their life at Henley Raw Regatta. Again, they've been over for a few weeks and having uh, competed at Marlow. They'll be used to the uh, condition of the Thames. They'll have rehearse this outing mentally and uh, physically they'll have been down here and had a good look at the conditions they look a real quality crew to me you can just see the bodies moving together in those shirts you can even see the muscles flexing together as they pick up the load and to me they seem to hold the blades in the water for a long time the uh, the nottingham crew looks looks like the blades are not even in the water for as long so effectively they're not moving the boat for as long so um, it's always a trade-off of how many strokes a minute you're doing, but then how connected you are. Um, now, obviously, it's easier for the New Zealand crew because they're nicely up in front here. They're able to have a, a more leisurely stroke rate that I've got there at about 30. Um, but the blades are connected to the water for longer. The boat's moving longer. The boat's moving further per stroke. It's like riding a bicycle in a, uh, in a harder gear. But you actually go further by turning your legs around fewer times. And that's really good, efficient rowing that we see from New Zealanders on the left, as opposed to something from, unfortunately, this Nottingham crew uh, having to keep the stroke rate up, having to try and keep it going um, as, they're, uh, as they're feeling the pressure now coming towards the enclosures. Yeah, but so not freewheeling, but looking very comfortable. It's not a paddle, is it? But it's uh, very tidy from them, and they know that this race is at their mercy. They've got this completely under control, the New Zealanders just ease off and conserve a bit of energy for harder tests ahead in the next few days. Yeah, it's 32 strokes a minute in the Patone crew there. They're nicely in control and uh, they'll be enjoying that round of applause and knowing there's probably going to be tougher challenges to come in this club event, um, which everyone will be targeting. And uh, we'll see how things pan out for them so they can enjoy the little row in from the tree. Edward Cade. Two there, just having a glance over his shoulder. We'll be pleased to hear the bleep, which indicates the finish of that race. Patone Rowing Club of New Zealand winning their first ever race here at Henry Raw Regatta, beating Nottingham Rowing Club B. There you go, Nottingham Rowing Club B over the finish line. 
So Jamie Saunders, Edward K, Patrick O'Reilly and Troy O'Reilly safely through to round two.